What's happening everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yep, it's my long time A and today we got this CVA Optima 50 cal muzzle loader on our bench and the reason why is because we'll be installing the Williams. I don't know if y'all can see that because of the glare, but it's the Williams sight, front and rear sight. Now this is just a regular fiber optic sight okay so without further ado we hope everybody's having a wonderful day with whatever you're doing you're being safe with it and being patient you know what I mean with all that out of the way shouts out to all the new subscribers also to all the ones that's been here through this long rodeo we've been hanging into I mean, we're, we're also going to remove the, I don't know if y'all can see it, but we'll also be removing this Duracite scope mount, okay, I will be running our favorite blue Loctite with this, alright, there's no torque spec specification on these Williams fiber optic site okay just gonna see if this is just a piece of paper it's just a piece of, just a piece of paper now whether we're gonna keep these on here or not I don't know, but I do know this, it does come with the front sight, and if I can get the staple off of this plastic, I can show y'all the rest of it, it also comes with Two screws, y'all. Uh, two screws. Okay. Comes with two screws. Look like it might be simple enough. Oh yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and start with the front sight right quick. ahead and stick it on there let me make sure I have the correct heads for it and this is just something that you know we're using because that's that's what we got, yeah. That's what we got, you know. Can't be picky. We'll set the torque to 15 inch pounds, okay. This is a torque wrench. I believe it's pronounced kind, something like that. No, we're not sponsored any of these manufacturers. We're just. Sharing knowledge. And as far as you know, being straight or having the sight perfectly straight on there, it basically it's molded to
and it's molded to the barrel. There it is, yo. Still kind of loose, seems like. Man, that thing broke on me, man. That ain't no good. It's not no good, man. Oh, man. Things you buy online. There it is. All right. Now, for this rear sight, you do have a small flathead here that you will have to remove. Luckily, we have our wheel or two to help us out with that. Since the smallest flathead just broke, you'll just have to unscrew this side right here so that can slide on off okay you just slide it all the way up and we'll go ahead and put that in the back where it needs to go I also put a little blue lock lock tight on there don't have to shower it Again, this will line up with the mold of your that's it 15 foot pounds I'm just playing 15 inch pounds right? come on now we'll just slide this you can either slide it from the back or slide it from the front it'll probably be easier slide it from the front and just go straight back with it. all she wrote y'all that's how easy it is to install your front and rear sight now let's move this out of the way right fast i was kind of happy with this torque screwdriver but after that tip on that small Flathead ripped on me. I'm very dissatisfied. This is an inexpensive tool, which is fine. Now, we'll just go ahead and move this this way right fast. So we can remove the scope mount. That is a torque bit. Looks like probably a T20. Let's see. Oh, smaller than a T20. The reason why I'm removing this scope mount is two things. One, it doesn't have a scope. Second thing is, it's obstructing my my view on the of the front and rear sight. So we'll just get it on up out of there. Let me see what they got. Look like they got it torqued down to 15 inch pounds as well. But 
but y'all stay tuned because we got all kinds of other stuff uh -oh. going on with this muzzle loader. There it is, y'all. Let me go ahead and wipe that down. For those that's wondering if if it's if there's holes all the way through there, it is not. As you can see, it's sealed. It's just tapped and drilled. There it is, y'all. There it is. Let's clean that off real good. There it is. We have our CVA Optima ready with the front and rear sight, y'all. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. She looks pretty. Oh, she looks pretty. Can't wait to try this out in the field and see how it performs. Again, stay tuned because we got some other stuff happening with this Optima V2. With all that being said, remember, be safe with whatever you're doing and be patient. All right, y'all. Remember, you can fix it too. Peace.